Hi guys, welcome to Chrissy's Tiny Kitchen. For today's Tuesday tip, um, I was actually inspired by leftover mashed potatoes. Ever since I was a kid, I have absolutely despised the taste of leftover mashed potatoes. If they've just got, you know, your basic salt, pepper, cream or milk, butter, love them the first night, but I absolutely hate them the second night. So I have come up with a few different, um, a few different ideas on how to dress up your mashed potatoes. I find um, I enjoy them so much more leftover. Plus, right now. Um, but the way things are with COVID-19, we're trying to minimize shopping. Um, so potatoes are a great thing to have on hand. You can buy a huge bag, they last a long time, they're filling, and you can do lots of things with them. So sometimes you kind of get stuck in a rut, things get a little bit boring. So I thought I would bring some fun and maybe new ways to dress up your mashed potatoes so you can enjoy them the first night and the next night as well. So to start with, um, you know, some pretty, some pretty basic ones. Um, roasted garlic. I've got some roasted garlic here. If you've got some on hand, perfect. I try to always have some on hand. Um, again, this is just cutting the tops off your heads of garlic. A little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper wrapped in foil. Roast for about an hour in the oven. Um, this just makes any mashed potato delicious. So that is a great thing to add in. Something I like to do once in a while, especially if I'm serving mashed potatoes with beef um, or red meat, is to actually add in creamy horseradish, specifically the creamy. Um, I find regular can be just a little tangy in the mashed potato itself. So creamy horseradish into your mashed potatoes, especially with beef or red meat, um, is really delicious. I also like to sometimes combine a little bit of roasted garlic, a little bit of creamy horseradish delicious for your mashed potatoes. Another thing that's fun, um, homemade or store-bought, your favorite pesto. Add a little bit of pesto into your mashed potatoes um, and a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese if you have on hand. Really, really nice with chicken and fish dishes, I find, in particular. That's a great one. If you have cream cheese, especially, I like these whipped cream cheeses. Um, I've got a jalapeno cheddar. I've also got a chive one. They add a really nice creamy texture and really, really great flavor into your mashed potatoes. Again, pick which flavor you like, go with it. Um, oh, one of my favorites. I actually stole the idea when I was still working at Daytona's restaurant, when I was still living in my hometown of Thunder Bay. Um, executive chef Andrew Stone at Daytona's, um, I believe it was his idea. I'll give him credit, sorry if it was somebody else, but goat cheese and herbs in your mashed potatoes. Game changer. Um, this one is just little goat cheese crumbles that I have on hand. Um, or you can get the log of it, whichever. Add a little bit of that fresh herbs. Um, I particularly like a little bit of chive, some fresh parsley. You could do some rosemary, some thyme, whichever. Um, but my favorite with the goat cheese is definitely some parsley and chive whip those in there. Oh, so good. So, so good. Um, also, um, I do have some winter truffles here. Of course, truffles um, have that really, really strong earthy mushroom flavor. Little goes a long way. Add a little bit of grated truffle and or truffle oil, just a little bit, um, to add that flavor into your mashed potato. Um, also, you got some bacon, you got some cheddar cheese, some sour cream, and some green onion, which I don't have on hand. But you add those into your mashed potatoes, boom, suddenly you have the most delicious loaded baked potato mashed potatoes. So, so good. Um, another one I like to do is to saute onions in some butter, just like you would do if you were having pierogies. Add those into your mashed potatoes with some cheddar cheese and sour cream, and you have essentially a pierogi mashed potato. Um, Garnish with a little bit of crispy bacon on top. So good. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, mixing some other vegetables into your mashed potatoes. My brother-in-law hates cauliflower more than anything in the world. So 
I'm always finding ways to sneak it into food and he doesn't realize it. Um, so any of these mashed potato ideas that I've given you, when you're doing your mashed potatoes, do half mashed potato, half cauliflower. You can boil them together, mash them together. You will not know that there is cauliflower in there. And especially if you're having trouble sneaking in some extra veggies to a picky eater, I'm telling you, half mashed potato, half cauliflower, cook it together, mash it, flavor it up, they will never know. Um, another um, veggie I like to do into um, my mashed potatoes is rutabaga. It has a really, really nice flavor, um, just for a little bit of a change up with your usual. Um, another really nice addition into mashed potatoes, super simple, um, but growing up my mom did it quite often, and a little bit of fresh uh, grated nutmeg into your mashed potatoes. Um, it just adds this little, like a nuttiness that, uh, I don't know, it just takes them from regular mashed potatoes to, hmm, these are some pretty damn good mashed potatoes. If you want to get fancy, you could take a mashed potato, you know, if you've got some leftover lobster meat laying around, <laughs> um, some lobster and a little bit of saffron, a little bit of extra butter in there. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Caramelized shallots and sage add those into your mashed potatoes, especially with a pork dish, a nice pork tenderloin, pork roast. Have your mashed potatoes with a little bit of caramelized shallot and sage, fresh sage, make sure it's fresh. Um, I honestly think that sage is one of the most underused herbs that there is. It is so, so tasty. Um, what else, what else? A little bit of um, fresh rosemary and some lemon zest, definitely giving it a little bit more of a Greek flavor. Um, what else, what else? Chimichurri. Chimichurri is one of my favorite condiments. I'm actually going to be filming um, my favorite sort of go-to basic chimichurri recipe. Um, if you haven't had it or you're not familiar with it, it's a little bit of acid, some garlic, a whole bunch of fresh herbs. It's a really great condiment, traditionally um, served over beef um, in a lot of uh, South American uh, cuisine. But, uh, Add some of that into your potatoes. Oh my god, served with a nice grilled steak. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that I've inspired you to do some different things with your mashed potatoes because they do get boring after a while. Um, also, so these are these are great ways to enjoy them first night, right? So let's say, for example, you've made your batch of mashed potatoes. Um, you've got your cheese, bacon, a little bit of sour cream, and green onion, let's say. It's one of my favorites to do this with. You take your leftover mashed potato that you have all those delicious things in there, a tablespoon, and from this you can make a nice little ball. You can you can get fancy with it, make it more egg shaped, perfect round ball. Um, to make your croquette, I do like it to have like a little bit more of an egg shape to it. Okay, so we've got our. I also love skin on in my mashed potatoes. So you could take these, and when they've been left over, they're nice and cold, they hold their shape really, really nicely. With this, I would have three stations set up. One would have flour with a little bit of salt and pepper. The next would be a couple of eggs that I've cracked and I've beaten really well. And the last one would just be some panko crumbs. So you always go flour first, then egg, then your panko crumbs. So if you do that with these, deep fry them, You've got delicious potato croquettes that are so crispy on the inside, fluffy, melt in your mouth deliciousness on the inside. If you want to do a slightly different variation, you take those exact same croquette shape. This time you flatten them. Do the exact same thing. Flour, egg, panko. Now you can pan fry them in a little bit of uh, oil and you've got more of a potato patty with that style. So. No more boring mashed potatoes. Give some of these ideas a try. I mean, come up with some new fun ideas. Um, oh my gosh, I just thought of one that I, I need to try this one. Um, I love a good spinach dip. I also love a good artichoke and asiago dip. So again, homemade, your favorite store-bought one. Throw some of that into your mashed potatoes. Yeah, I'm trying that one. So hope you guys have been inspired to try a few different ways to just change up your everyday mashed potato. And as always, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.